전도사님이 여러분. I miss all of you guys and I miss all of our teachers. That's why I'm here, Shaun Chapel. It is still clean and sweet. It is waiting for all of you guys. I hope that we meet up at this Shalom Chapel as soon as possible to worship together, to pray together, to sing together, and to dance together, do everything together. Okay, guys, who is the Lord? The Lord is our... Who is the Lord? The Lord is our judge. Yes, right. It's true. The Lord is our judge who takes care of us. There is no one like God. God rules over everything. God is the judge, God is the lawgiver, and God is the only one true king. Yeah! Everything happens according to God's plan. Okay, friends, last Sunday we had graduation ceremony. Ta-da! 우리 지난주에는 졸업 예배를 드렸어요. So for six years old friends, today's worship service will be the last service offered by pre-K and kindergarten ministry. 그래서 여섯 살 친구들은 오늘이 유치부에서 드리는 마지막 예배가 될 거예요. From the next Sunday, you guys are gonna worship with Sunday schoolers. 다음 주부터는 유년부에 있는 누나 언니 오빠 형아들과 함께 예배를 드리게 되겠습니다. It makes me so sad. 이건 정말 전도사님 너무 너무 슬프고 아쉬운 일이에요. But one thing that makes me so sad is today will be 전도사님's last worship service that I can worship with you guys. 하지만 한 가지 더 슬픈 일은 오늘이 전도사님이 여러분과 함께 예배를 드리는 마지막 예배라는 사실이에요. Last month, 전도사님 also graduated from Theo School and I will go to another church to keep walking my devotional journey. 전도사님도 지난달에 다니던 신학교를 졸업했어요. 이제 새로운 교회로 가서 목사님이 되기 위한 훈련을 계속 계속 받으려고 해요. I know I had to say goodbye face to face with you guys. But please understand this exceptional pandemic situation. 전도사님이 우리 친구들 직접 보고 인사하고 가야 되는데 지금 코로나 바이러스라고 하는 너무 특별한 상황 때문에 인사 직접 하고 가지 못하는 것 이해해 줬으면 좋겠어요. But I'm not gonna go far away from here, so I will come back to meet you guys after done this global. 하지만 전도사님이 멀리 가는 거 아니니까 이 나쁜 바이러스들이 지나고 나면 꼭 다시 우리 친구들 만나러 놀러 올게요. Okay, friends, why don't you read this morning scripture? 그럼 우리 오늘 성경 말씀 다 함께 읽어볼까요? This morning scripture is from 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 20. So after some time, Hannah became pregnant. She had a baby boy. She said, I asked the Lord for him. So she named him Samuel. 한나가 임신하고 때가 이름에 아들을 낳아 사무엘이라 이름하였으니 이는 내가 여호와께 그를 구하였다 함이더라. Amen. Today's Bible story about Hannah and his son Samuel. 오늘은 바로 한나와 그의 아들 사무엘에 대한 이야기예요. 어떤 일이 펼쳐질지 우리 다 함께 바이블 비디오 가볼까요? Let's watch today's Bible video. Yeah! In a hilly country called Ephraim, a man named Elkanah lived with his wife Hannah. Hannah was very sad because she did not have any children. Hannah wanted to have a family. Every year, Elkanah went to the tabernacle to make sacrifices to God and to worship Him. Hannah went with him. Elkanah saw that Hannah was upset. What's wrong, Hannah? He asked. Don't I make you happy? Hannah prayed to God, Lord, if you give me a son, I will dedicate him to you. He will serve you all of his life. A priest named Eli was sitting near the doorpost of the tabernacle. Eli watched Hannah pray. He couldn't hear her, but he saw her lips moving. 
Eli thought there was something wrong with Hannah. Hannah explained, I've been pouring out my heart before the Lord. Eli replied, Go in peace. May God answer your prayers. Hannah and Elkanah returned home, and God did answer her prayers. After some time, Hannah gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel. When Samuel was no longer a baby, Hannah took him to Eli at the tabernacle. God answered my prayers, she said. Hannah pledged Samuel to serve God, and she worshiped God. Hannah returned home and left Samuel with Eli to serve God. Every year, Hannah returned with a new robe for Samuel, and God gave Hannah many more children. Eli was getting old, and his sons served as priests in the tabernacle. Eli heard that his sons were sinning against God. Eli asked his sons why they were sinning, but they did not listen to him. Samuel, on the other hand, grew older and found favor with God and with men. One night, Eli was in his bed and Samuel was lying in the tabernacle when Samuel heard someone speak to him. Here I am, Samuel replied. He ran to Eli. Here I am, you called me? God called Samuel three times. And each time Samuel ran to Eli. Here I am, he said. Eli finally understood that God was calling to Samuel. He told Samuel how to respond. Samuel went back to his place and God called. Samuel, Samuel, speak, for your servant is listening, Samuel replied. God told Samuel that he was going to judge Eli's family for their sin. The next day, Samuel was afraid to tell Eli what God had said. Eli asked Samuel to tell him what God said, so Samuel did. As Samuel grew, God was with him. Everyone in Israel knew that Samuel was God's messenger. God used Samuel to share his plan with the nation of Israel. Samuel used God's words to tell the people what God is like. John chapter one, verse one says that Jesus is the word. Jesus showed the world what God is like and he told people to turn away from their sin. Jesus ultimately freed people from the power of sin by dying on the cross and rising again. Hannah was really sad because she doesn't have any children. She really wanted to have a family. One day, she wept and prayed to God. My Lord, if you give me a son, I will give him to you. He will serve you through all of his life. God did answer her prayers. After some time, she gave birth to a son and she named him Samuel. And she answered, God answered my prayer. 간절히 기도한 한나에게 하나님께서는 아들을 주셨어요. 그리고 한나는 그 아들의 이름을 사무엘이라고 지었답니다. Even though Samuel was so young, People knew that God is always with him. 비록 사무엘은 굉장히 어린 나이였지만 주변에 있는 사람들은 하나님께서 사무엘과 함께 하신다는 사실을 알수 있었어요. 오늘 성경 말씀의 사무엘처럼 하나님은 우리 친구들과도 언제나 함께 계세요. 그리고 우리 친구들을 통해서 놀라운 일을 하기 원하세요. You don't need to wait until you are older for God to use you and your life for God's plan. God will use you and your life for God's glory and for your good, no matter who you are, no matter how old you are. 우리는 나이가 더 자라서 어른이 될 때까지 기다릴 필요가 없어요. 하나님은 우리 친구들이 누구든, 우리 친구들이 몇 살이든, 우리 친구들이 크던 작던. 우리 친구들을 통해서도 놀라운 일을 하실 수 있거든요. 친구들, 전도사님이 우리 친구들과 나눌 바이블 스토리는 오늘로 끝이 났어요. 이제 전도사님이 우리 친구들에게 들려줄 바이블 스토리는 더 없지만 
우리 친구들이 써내려갈 바이블 스토리는 이제 시작이에요 오늘 함께 들은 사무엘의 말씀처럼 많은 사람들이 우리 친구들을 볼 때마다 하나님께서 함께 하시는 어린이구나 하나님께서 함께 하는 친구는 정말 달라도 다르구나 라고 하는 고백들이 우리 친구들의 삶 속에서 일어나는 놀라운 일들이 날마다 펼쳐지기를 전도사님이 계속 기도할게요 좋아요 친구들 우리 그러면 다 같이 기도할까요? Friends, let us pray Close your eyes and hands together and pray Gracious God, thank you so much for giving us this another beautiful day And thank you so much for giving us our good friends and our good teachers. And also thank you for giving lots of beautiful days that we could have together. We knew that God was with Samuel and used him for your glory and his good. Even though we are young, please use us for your glory and our good like Samuel. Please help us to believe you more than anything. Now this is time to say goodbye. What blessed days that I spent with your children in Calvary Church. Please help us to pray for each other, hug to each other, and encourage each other in the name of Jesus Christ. All days that I worshipped, prayed, and played with my friends were so beautiful. Thank you, God, for giving me a good opportunity to meet your beloved friends through Calvary community. We are still waiting for a new pastor who can serve your children with a warm heart and passion. We believe you already chose your servant to send us. Please send your servant to us at the right time to the right place. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray.